Cordbank arranged for the blood to be shipped overseas in a special temperature controlled storage container. And then, a couple of weeks later, it was Gillian and Maya's turn to make the long journey to Duke for their life-changing appointment. Gillian says she was full of hope, but also nervous. The day of the treatment was um, exciting. I was very anxious. Uh, uh, Maya was also um, unaware of her surroundings and significance of the procedure. And whilst we were there, we got to meet an amazing group of nurses and we met this wonderful therapist who played music and provided an atmosphere that made it calming, relaxing, um, interactive for both Maya and I. Dr Kurtzberg and her team took about two hours to perform the procedure where Maya's own cord blood was infused back into her body. The procedure went extremely well and then it was a matter of waiting and watching for the changes. Only a few days later, Gillian started to notice changes in Maya. Her eyes became more focused and her face started to lose its dreamy quality. Her physical coordination improved and so did her stamina. Well, it was amazing. Um, her eyes, her body, her whole sense of being became like a light switched on and she became present. Oh, that, she Maya? wasn't so dreamy and sort of floating off from being angelic. She was actually wanting to be there and be present with us. On the plane trip home, Maya had the concentration to colour in all by herself, something she had never done before. Back in New Zealand, Daniel was awaiting Gillian and Maya's return with great anticipation. I remember the um, both Maya and Gillian turning, opening up the door, and this person arrived running down the path. It was a different person. It's like if Gillian had left New Zealand with one child and come back with a complete different stranger. And it just hit me immediately, the eye contact, the cuddle, lifting her up. and. Probably for the first time in her life, in our life, I had a real connection with her in the sense that just picking her up and got a proper hug and I think some recognition that she knew I was there and that's a real miracle to me and it just, she just seems to improve more and more. Completely. It's a complete miracle. It's a blessing and we've got a wee girl. We've got a wee girl to play with um, her sister Ariel to interact with. We've got um, a family back. The Friedlander's family doctor, Marcus Stone, has also seen big changes in Maya. I've, I've known Maya since she was born, and I can't believe the dramatic improvement that she's had since the treatment at Duke. She's behaving much more like a girl her age should be. Her comprehension has improved. Her ability with dexterity, movement, balance has all improved. She's shown really just a dramatic overall improvement up to her age expected level which just wasn't happening before the treatment. Maya is the first New Zealand child to have this treatment but she won't be the last. There are other children who have their cord blood stored with cord bank who have been diagnosed with similar conditions. It's an expensive process and procedure to fly halfway around the world to Duke and North Carolina and you know for a lot of New Zealand families they with you know in our situation with their children they really can't afford it and my hope you know in seeing the changes of my daughter is that you know the procedure can be done in New Zealand and you know help other families who have been you know with their children to maximize their potential and for the procedure to be done here in New Zealand is most important uh, for families. Core Bank is working extremely hard to make this process happen for other families in New Zealand and they have to be supported and for that and Core Bank is a very wonderful organisation and changed our lives. Maya doesn't know she is a New Zealand medical pioneer. As her mother makes a scrapbook of mementos from their trip to Duke, Maya just concentrates on getting on with the rest of her life. It is so amazing the change of my daughter and, and made us a proper family unit and really, they, one of the ways I've explained it, it's like with all the therapy and everything we're getting very little back, it's like we were living in a box, the Maya box, 
and since she's come back from the transfusion with her cord, but someone's opened up a door. A whole lot of light has come in and really has changed our family life forever. And I can never be more thankful for that. We just trusted in the process that we banked our core blood. We had the opportunity to bank our core blood. And because of that opportunity, we now have our daughter who is fully functioning and we've got our miracle and we're here. <laughs>